In recognition of student achievement, the school district awarded a group of students at Rio for raising their GPAs throughout the year. Um, hi, my name is Swarna. The full name is Swarna Lakshmi Gopal Ratnam. I am the administrative assistant with um, the equity and student achievement department at the district office. Um, and we are here today to do the GPA awards for all the students who have scored more than 2.5 um, increase in their GPA between 1.0 to 3.0. My name is Darren Kennedy. I'm with the equity and student achievement department. I'm here today to basically celebrate students that would normally be left out. We wanted to create this event so that we could definitely celebrate and give them a platform where they can get recognized so that hopefully they can continue to go forward and increase their grade point averages to where they can have a better life. One, two, three. Awesome guys, congratulations. Hi, I'm Sarah Ruano. Hi, my name is Ali Taloku. Celebrate all the culture and traditions that we have of our students here at Rio. And you know, uh, that's a way that they can share the cultures, represent their performances, music, food. And it was such a great opportunity, first of all, founded many, uh, four or five years ago. And we have students here at Rio who all know other languages from their home country and are here at Rio also doing all their classes and learning English at the same time. Uh, now I would be more than happy to continue this great, this great tradition and continuing at school, you know. Started working on cars about 15, one we used to have auto shop in high school. I used to go to garage sales and buy things just to take them apart. But you always took stuff apart. It's what he's meant to do. Everything automotive, um, maintenance, regular services, repair, just about everything. The customers love him because he's got a lot of integrity and he's honest and he doesn't overcharge and he wants people to come back. You know, that's always nice. Because mechanics have a bad name. You know, there's a lot of bad ones out there. He's not a bad one, he's a good one. Now that we are back in person, we wanted to learn more about Rio students and staff. Because while we may see them every day or walk past them every day, we never truly know what their story is. Hi, my name is Matsudi Lemos, I'm a senior at Rio, um, and I'm going to be attending University of San Francisco next year. And I'm kind of nervous to leave, I'm not going to lie, but I'm also excited for like the new opportunities. and environment that I'm going to be in, trying to be more on the excited, like positive side, because um, it is something to celebrate, but also, you know, it's, we're leaving and it makes me sad. Leaving family makes me a lot more sad. Um, I'm really close with my family, like we have a lot of family dinners and my sisters are both here and they have kids and things like that. I think what makes me the most sad about leaving is that I have a four-year-old nephew um, and he and I are very, very close, but um, like leaving him is like I'm leaving him when he's finally able to like start making memories and so a lot of like his you know baby to four years old he's not gonna remember that and that's when I'm gonna be around whereas his four to eight years old like I'm gonna be away in college and so it makes me sad to that aspect that I'm not gonna be able to be there for my family um, especially because I am a big support to my sisters when it comes to her kids so that does make me sad but um, they're also very excited for me and they want me to go away um, 
for like good reasons obviously um but yeah it's just it does make me sad um but i know that in the end like i my goal is to come back to sacramento after college hopefully that happens um and so they'll be here when i get back but it does make me sad to think about having to leave them for the next four years I'm Mr. Carroll. I was a teacher here for 26 and a half, 27 years. Uh, I retired last June. Uh, I miss high school. I've missed high school since 1973 when I graduated. But uh, do I miss teaching high school? Yes, very much. I always looked at my job as trying to help people learn what I was trying to teach and help them move ahead. And that was constantly a changing thing because you're always learning new things from the people you work with, and from the things you see in the classroom. When you don't have that, you've got to find something else. That was, that was my main purpose for getting up every day, was going to work. And I always felt good when I had success. So, and retirement, uh, it is, takes a while to, and I'm not there yet, it takes a while to, to adjust. It's just the adjustment period of finding the new thing. Because as long as I can physically do it, I'm going to keep myself as active as I can. I've been far away from my family for 45 years. And to be able to go back east more and see my family is, is important to me. And I've got grandkids too, so... That's a full-time job, even when you're just doing it once in a while. It's a handful. This year was just horrible um, because I started this year extremely burnt out and exhausted from sophomore year because it was, I mean, obviously it was very hard to just wake up in the morning, but seeing that everybody's always like, oh, your junior year is the hardest year and you have to do really good at it or else you're not going to get into a really good college like stop it just don't don't say that to juniors because it just puts more stress on them and they're trying their best i feel like every student here is trying their best and the best looks different from person to person there's a lot of emphasis on being academically well and being well-rounded but honestly just do well and if it doesn't come out good then try again and if that doesn't come out good try something new excited for my senior year hell yeah um bro i want to graduate but also i feel like contrary to every senior every senior here just wants to get the hell out of here and i feel bad because i kind of like high school i kind of like it though there's a lot of people i meet new people every day but i'm kind of sad that my senior friends are moving on without me and they're leaving and I have to deal with this for another year and we're probably got, not gonna like talk because they're all gonna be so busy with their lives. I also need to just accept that. I'm really hard at moving on so it's a good lesson for me to move on and to be real with myself. Listen, I'm trying my best and if next year I just wanna meet new people, I wanna make new connections, I used to not value social connections, I used to be like, academics. But talk to people, talk to people. You never know who you can find. You never know where your next best friend is going to be. So talk to people, um, introduce yourself as often as you can is what I learned from this year. So hopefully next year we will have a wider circle of connections. Although if you do have a smaller circle, that's okay too, you know? Take care of yourself. Take care of yourself, take care of your friends, of other people, and you will be okay. I will be okay. I was an elementary librarian before this, so we don't have story time here. Instead, we have, I get to meet students every single day who are coming for their novels and uh, moaning about the size of them. <laughs> <laughs> or getting real excited because they're like this thick. But uh, otherwise, it's, it's a lot like running a bookstore because if you look around and you can see it all in here, it's about 10,000 books that are out right now and they, they come and go like these to face high here. I like it when they come up and they're all grumpy and they throw their books on the counter and I can find a way to make them smile by the time they leave just by just being nice to them because maybe I'm the only person who said their name or was nice the whole day long. But I have TA that I love, like a 
the TAs and volunteers that come through here, they learn something, a new skill, and they get to interact with their peers from a, a position of power, <laughs> I guess you could say, and um, it's fun working with them. Daily, there's a lot going on. Um, inventory of all the textbooks, I get new ones. We're getting a bunch of new books this year. And I have the students that come every day and change books out or are leaving the school sadly or a lot of new students coming that don't speak the language too and so you have to find a way to communicate. I like working with students because I feel like the world will only be a better place if we can all uh, start from the beginning. <laughs> My name's Natalie. I'm currently a senior here. This week was AP exams and like finals. This is I'm like I am burned out and I don't want to do this, but it's fine. We're good. I'm really excited about graduation. I think it's like a fresh start and I'm pretty burned out, but I'm glad that we've had the past four years here and I'm really excited to like go on to my like new life and start college and meet new people and get my career going. I'm gonna major in accounting and it's We'll see where that goes. This business and finances is what I want to go into, so maybe I'll change my major, but I want to get started on that and like see like what internships I can get. I knew I wanted to go to SoCal because I got into a few other schools like in the Northwestern area and I was like, hmm, I don't want to go there. And I definitely think there's a lot more opportunities and like chances to get like ahead in SoCal. So I am now going to Loyola Marymount in LA. I like being pretty independent. I am an only child, so I'm like used to being independent and like doing stuff on my own. Like during the school week, I'm barely home because like, I just go from like school and work and practices for sports. So I think I'm already like somewhat ready. Do what you want. Don't let people like tell you like what not to do or to do.